My first perception of the water industry is that it's very straightforward. The tap goes on, the water comes out, that you don't need to know anything else. I thought it was about laying pipes and billing customers for water. I thought the water industry was only for civil engineers. So if you're not a civil engineer, don't bother applying, was the rumour that goes around the university campus. I thought it was a pretty old school industry where there weren't new and exciting things happening and opportunities to improve our water in the future. I love the variety of my job. Every day is different for me. Some days I could be out training a customer about oh and aspects of recycled water use. Other days I could be in the office uh, looking at volumes and, uh, and soil samples, water quality reports. It's not sitting at a desk all day. Um, there's a lot of collaboration. Um, there's a very diverse team that you work within. And then that involves, of course, going out to site and physically doing things and physically seeing the problems that you're dealing with. Getting out in the field is one of the aspects I love about my job. I, it gives you that freedom, that flexibility, and I honestly thought that when I'd start working I'd be behind my desk all the time, but it's nice to know that you can break your day up like that. So there's a new plant at Cardinia, the Cardinia fluorite plant, and I was involved when it was still in commissioning phase. I thought to myself, I'm very lucky to work on this. When you had the opportunity to see your work out in the field, there's a big sense of pride about what you've accomplished and also a big sense of responsibility about the decisions you're making. Sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming when you realise that what you've been working on on your computer is this huge 140 megalitre a day sewage treatment plant. I love my job because I get to go outside and see some beautiful places. There's some amazing sites, whether it's reservoirs or treatment plants or huge pipelines, there's always heaps going on. And I love that you can actually get out and go see it and embrace the nature as well as the huge infrastructure. We're looking at, at new technologies to enhance um, things that we do, such as, as drone condition monitoring, uh, virtual reality design review, uh, augmented reality, being able to potentially see underground assets out on the field. During my first rotation in the grad program, uh, a project that I took on was to develop a business case for an improved treatment process plant and to take that through to the design phase and have it ready for construction. Um, so that felt really good as a sort of beginner or a grad to be able to branch out at such an early stage. The most interesting thing about the water industry is really the impact that you have on everyone's lives. I went into this because I wanted to give back something to the community and I'm certainly not alone in this industry that, with that kind of mentality. It's extremely fulfilling because you're giving back to the community and you're providing essential service that everyone takes for granted. That's meaningful when we know it has a long-term impact. We want to make sure that there's water for the next generations. I definitely feel like I'm growing as a professional each and every day and there's also a lot of personal development um, that comes with the job too. There are a lot of exciting things happening in renewable energy, virtual reality and technology that will shape the future of water and sewage. Not only is it a great place for you to, uh, to learn and grow in many different technical skills, um, but you also have the ability to give back to your community. It's a great industry to be in. You may not know exactly which area of the industry you want to be in because it's so big, but graduate programs are a great place to start.